Hello everyone, welcome to Programming Knowledge. So I again welcome you all to Programming Knowledge. So guys, this is the 21st tutorial of our Django series and this is the GitHub link of our repository. So you can download the, or clone this project from here and I have defined below the instructions how you can run this project on your local machine. So let's get started with this. So basically what we are going to do, we would in this tutorial, what we are going to do, evaluation of query and adding a try except block in this tutorial is continuation of tutorial number 20 in this we would evaluate query as well as add try except block so we will implement evaluation try except block and render to front end part so this is going to be an interesting tutorial so let's get started with this so basically till now we had defined a submit query route and we were taking request dot request query and queue then we returned an HTTP response of queue so basically what we can do uh, i can type any method like mathematical equation that like is 2 plus 3 so i would submit this and it returns me 2 plus 3 so this looks good so we can move to the back back page home page index page so basically this we are making a, a application so basically about then instructions so we can check check the responsive nature as well control shift i okay and this is the nav bar and then instruction and this so uh, uh what we can also try like if you scroll down the page, what you see the navbar is navbar. We cannot see the navbar on the top if we scroll down the page. Like we are on the top of the page. As soon as we scroll down the page, we don't see the navbar on the top. So uh, this is a, uh, like what you can do on the navbar class. We can move to the navbar class and try type fixed top. So what would it do? Like I'll refresh this page. So like uh, I'll refresh this page and you can see here's a navbar, okay? And when you press Control Shift I, so when you scroll down the page, you see the navbar is fixed on the top. So this is an additional utility of to your front end part. If you want to carry on with this, then it's absolutely fine. So I just showed you like you can fix the navbar on top when you scroll down the page. So as soon as I remove this fixed top, fixed top, so what I observe when I refresh this, okay? So the navbar is looking on the top, but as soon as I scroll, it disappears. So you can choose the functionality to your part if you want to use the fixed top additional utility of navbar. Okay. So now we are move to use.py file. So we would add a try accept block. Try if this is successful and accept. Okay. So this is fine. So what we are going to do, we are taking an answer is equal to eval. Eval is an inbuilt eval uh, is an inbuilt function in Python which uh, takes a string as a uh, string as a mathematical equation, then evaluates it and returns an uh, basically uh, 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 answer to that mathematical equation. Okay, so what you can do answer is equal to eval q. Then I would define my dictionary my dictionary. So basically the Q would remain the Q, okay? And the uh, answer would be the answer. And if this operation is successfully, if this try block gets executed, so I would say error is false, okay? So this should work fine till now. And if, uh, if, uh, uh, what I can do, if, if this is uh, true, like uh, what I mean to say, the, the, if this operation is successful, then I would return render, return render request, then index.html, and then I would context is equal to my dictionary. Okay, if this is true. Then uh, till till the time being, I would say pass is equal to uh, I would try uh, uh, add a pass statement to the except block because it was showing an error because uh, so this should work fine. Okay. Uh, now what I can do if this is true, then this should work fine. Okay. Then uh, like I'll move to my index.html. This is a navbar navbar. Okay. Fine. Yeah. So this is a container fluid. So div class is equal to row then div class is equal to call md6 uh, uh, style would be margin auto 0 style will be margin 0 auto 
okay so if this okay what i can do percent if error so basically uh, percent if error because i am trying to say if error means if error was true so it would show the error okay so if true then i would do something else if it error is false then i mean there is no error then i would use else part to show the result then uh, i would end this end if uh, i would end this if else equation with end if tag okay this is uh, uh, this looks good okay so percent end if if error percent uh, else okay good so uh, what i can do uh, alert i'll move to the alert and i'll copy this and if this is an error okay so what i can do i'll quickly if error sorry there is an error as or you can simply type sorry uh, error error is fine strong and to do this uh, you would use alert warning not alert danger okay and in the else part you need to show that if the, that uh, result was successfully so i'll copy this okay and i'll use alert alert success so first we are going to test our application so uh, we will move to the page i'll refresh this okay so first okay so there is some issue here with the okay the class is equal to alert okay if class is equal to call md6 okay i need to uh, check this uh, like if error yes yes okay i'll move this equation to here okay there if class is equal to call md6 yes and here is the row yes yeah now this is absolutely working fine and error is showing me in green color let me check this okay yeah okay 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 because this was answer okay yeah okay okay so let me go with this 2 plus 3 yeah 2 plus 3 is 5 so this looks fine okay so yes uh, 2 plus 3 is equal to 5 so let me do perform some mathematical equation 2 plus 3 star 4 14 okay yeah this is good good and let me define some equation uh, uh let me do 2 plus 3 divided by 2 like this would be valid to 5 then 5 divided by 2 2.5 this should return 2.5 yes but if i do the same equation with a uh, floor division that is 2 okay uh, uh, we can try some more mathematical operations like 2 to the power 3 yeah this is 8 so what you can do so like a uh, here you can add add this like double star for exponential exponential like you can add this double star for exponential okay and in the same way you can add modulus modulus as well mod 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 so this would uh, like this for the mod operation okay uh, so basically mod operation is to to get a uh, you can uh, i'll quickly perform a mod operation like this is 10 modulus 3 so uh, it should give 1 i guess yes this is 1 so absolutely correct so like uh, i would quickly explain this 
सो लाइक वी एडेड एक्सपोनेशियल ऑपरेटर एज वेल कुछ टाइम के लिए फाइव डबल स्टार फाइव सो एंड देन माइनस टू सो दिस इज ट्वेंटी सॉरी फॉर दैट दैट वॉज फाइव टू द पावर फाइव इफ आई एम नॉट रॉन्ग दैट इज फाइव टू द पावर फाइव देन माइनस टू ओके सो द फाइव टू द पावर फाइव वॉज Three one two five then minus two return three one two three basically what I meant was five square so that was five to the double star two minus two that is five square is twenty five minus two is twenty three so basically we are tested with the application and one thing I would show then as soon as I type one divided by zero uh, this is an error so it should return me an error so it returned didn't return an HTTP response object so we'll go to the uh, view dot py file so so we'll continue this. my dictionary have error is equal to true okay and in the same way my dictionary of error is equal to true so what you can do or you can define a new dictionary here error is true and i should return the same page With the context is equal to my dictionary. Yes. So I now 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 I will go back to the page. Now one divided by zero. Yeah. Now this works absolutely fine. That one divided by zero was an error. So it threw threw, threw me an error. Okay. Th then again there is an issue with the front end part. So let me check. Dev class is equal to yes. New class if error. Okay, if error, there is an error on this front end, on the front end part. Let me check. Okay. Then I will show. Uh, this is a div. Okay. So this div to call md and then to 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 ends to row. Okay. If this error, then you display this row. Else on the else part, what we can do? Div class is equal to row. Okay, good. Then again, I'll define. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Dave class is equal to call md six. Yes. Now I would close this div. Okay, this is a div. Now this is a div to the call and another div to the row. And this is the container. This uh, this should not be to the container fluid. Yes. Now I'll move to the page. Yeah. Now this is absolutely working fine. Now on one divide by zero, so we'll quickly test the application. One divide by zero error. Yeah. Down the front end is good. Uh, I'll quickly two plus three is equal to five. Yeah. Two plus three is equal to five. And this is on the left. Okay, let me check. Let me check. This is a call MD six. If error. Okay. Okay. Let me move this. Okay. Let me click on inspect. Inspect. I I am in this call MD six. Margin zero auto. Okay, now let me change the view. Uh, edit. I'll add a laptop screen. 
yeah this is working fine this is now this is i'm inside the row call is equal to md6 so style is equal to margin 0 auto yes okay 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 yes style is equal to margin 0 auto so yes uh, now this should work okay we'll quickly 2 plus 3 is equal to 5 or we'll type uh, 2 plus 3 is 4 14 yeah good now 1 divided by 0 error so basically you need to tackle errors when the because now we are completely done with the application here you can see like we get an error on evaluating on when we put 0 as an input uh, let me type 1 minus 1 uh, this should yeah return 0 now no, absolutely, absolutely fine so let me try some random words like something something as random and what does it show so that shows an error as well okay on random input so basically you can put numbers like uh, you can could quickly put numbers then reset it okay then again put numbers then submit here then 14 then 10 it will show error yeah on random text uh, on, on random text it would also show error so guys we are completely done with our application so thank you guys thank you so much i'll catch you up in the next lecture so basically the error on the front end part how i resolved it i'll quickly if there was an error so i made a new row particular row for that okay so it uh, and the call md6 was on uh, margin zero out of our center and if there is no error so i would return the answer and in the same way what you can do you can uh, simply add q is equal to this so basically this would return the query as well so so we can do 2 plus 3 yes so here it says 2 plus 3 is equal to 5 so so this is absolutely correct so yeah now this is looks uh, application looks pretty good so you can try out the front end part so just uh, just try to uh, we'll also try the responsive nature of this app as well so i have uh, now control shift i uh, okay so basically i will try something 2 double star 3 okay so 2 double star is equal to 8 yeah so guys this is absolutely fine so thank you guys thank you so much i'll catch up in the next lecture so i have uh, added some exponentialized modulus operator you can uh, try out some modulus operator that 10 mod 5 10 mod 5 so this should be 0 yes so thank you guys thank you so much i'll catch up in the next lecture so thank you so much hello everyone so like uh, hello everyone i saw an error in this application like when we go to the uh, index page without any query submission i see a equal to sign so actually this equal to sign is basically to do to this else part so we need to get a, a just a little bit different logic so what we can do uh, we can do we'll move to views.poi and here we can do result result is equal to true okay yes and i'll quickly copy this and in this part i would do result if if, if the error if error is false then result is should true if error is true then result should be false okay good now i would move to my index.html page so i would if this condition with an end if person end if and i would give this else part as if result okay so this is this looks good and this would avoid our error so i'll quickly test my application when i move to the index page yes now the equal to sign has gone now i would query 2 plus 3 is equal to submit yes 5 is good then 1 plus 0 then error should be there yeah but when i move to the index page when i move to the index page so there is no equal to sign so that was a bit a, a little bit of logical error but i have now corrected it so thank you guys thank you so much